I'm here to do a PSE Citation 40 bow review. This bow is with the EM cams. And I got the 60 pound limbs with 75% mods. Um, a little about the bow and specs, I'm getting, you know, 40 inches on the axle to axle. Uh, I got 64 pounds on the limbs maxed out straight from the factory, no extra shims or anything like that in the pockets, 64 pounds. We got a little over 16 pounds of holding weight. I am running the rubber garments in the stops. It has helped me tremendously in the sight picture and just kind of seem to calm things down and make it feel a little softer, but still stiff on the back end. Uh, Mike Pistelli mentioned something about them rubber pieces in a, in a video he did on a bow build and it's really, it's really helped me. I tried it on the XL, so I went ahead and left them in on this bow. Um, I left the cable guard where it is from the factory and I will say make sure you go through the bow and tighten everything down because I did have the cable rod move on me once I got it set up and started shooting. But you know, no big deal. Put it back where it was, tighten it down, it hasn't moved since. Um, I set the rest up. I just kind of eyeballed everything down the center and set the bottom of the arrow through the bottom quarter of the burger hole. It really made the bow aim well for me there. So that's something you could play with as well. A little bit of different pressure in the grip will do different things for you and your sight pitcher as far as where it's holding or up and down movements, something of that nature if you don't got the right pressure. Uh, I eyeballed the rest, got it lined up pretty good. Down the, down the string, shot it through paper, and I went ahead and shimmed the cams. Um, I moved the two little spacers on the left and put them on the right. I will mention that it makes your life so much easier that to just let the bow down completely. Pull the limb, shim the cams, put everything back together, press it, put your strings back on. It took 10 minutes compared to 20 minutes trying to fidget with them little shims. But once it's done, it's done. You know, it, it ain't going to move. Everything's good to go. Um, after I did that, it tuned every arrow I threw at it. From triple X's to pierces. I'm running three AAE Freak Show rests, the QD rests, and I just set them all up the same as far as left and rights and the up and down position goes. And then once I shim the cams to the left, they all produce bullet holes per, you know, the rest body that I would put on. And I got it, all of them down the middle as good as I feel it is because I don't even have to click my sight, but maybe a couple clicks here or there left or right for it to, uh, for each arrow to hit down the middle. And obviously just different sight tapes and everything's good to go, which makes it really nice because now I can shoot one bow for everything and just change rest and change sight tapes on my phone and I'm good to go. Um, the shoot through riser made a big, a big difference as far as stability and feel goes in this bow over the XL. Uh, the XL was a great bow, shot amazing, but having the shoot through just made the riser a bit stiffer and a little more stout and you could you can feel it it it, it makes a difference um, the wider limb stamps not only is it awesome for the tuning aspect but it definitely also made the bow more stable and you can see it in the sight picture and the bow just it feels good it's almost like it shoot itself sometimes um, <clears throat> I'm get, I got 29 and a quarter inch draw, 64 pounds, 16 pounds of holding weight with a 560 grain arrow. I'm getting just over 260 foot a second for my indoor setup, which is pretty quick. I have not yet put my X cutters or pierces through the chronograph, but that just gives you a rough idea where everything's at with a 560 grain arrow. Um, the biggest aspect of changing a bow is the grip in the cams. You know, that makes a bow feel and, and do different things for people. And I feel like PSE hit it out of the park with taking the Super Focus XL and, and making it a 
even better platform than it already is. The grip and the cams feel the same, so it took literally no time to transition. I, it almost felt like I was still shooting the XL, but everything just seemed a little more smoother, a little more stable. Um, I took the bars straight off the, the XL and put them on here. The only thing I did do was kick my back bar down just a little bit for back bar position as far as where it lies on the riser, so I just had to kick it down a touch. I'm running the, the Excel mounts with the eight degree front and then the Excel bracket in the back, the tri-lock system. And uh, I got a 30 inch and a 12 inch. And I'm running 13 ounces up front and 20 ounces in the back. And on, with uh, an Excel XP sight, shrewd scope, X-Focus 365, six power lens. Uh, my sight picture is very clear and stable. Um, PSC really did did good with all the changes they made in the Evolve Cam system and everything they're going. And uh, in in the direction they're moving. So I switched from Matthews to PSC this year, and I started with the XL, and I love that bow. Right from the day I set it up, I, I had never shot cleaner games and, and felt it was so easy to shoot a bow. And this four, this uh, Citation 40 made it really, made things just a little bit better, a little bit smoother. Um, I think it'll be a really good bow and a big hit for 2021. For PSC, they did an amazing job designing this bow. They pulled out all the stops. I mean, the limb pocket's locked to the riser. You don't have to worry about your bolts, you know, coming loose or not coming loose, but backing out a little bit like they used to on the XL. They put this stainless cable rod, which really helps and made, made everything feel just a little bit more stout in that aspect. Um, again, the, the wider limb stance played a big dividend as far as how this thing aims and tunes. I mean, you, you can do anything to this bow now. Put any arrow you want on it, tune it, and it's good to go. And the best part is it shims, it ain't gonna move. You don't have to worry about no yoke stretching or anything of that, like that. Um, I have shot it quite a bit. I got this bow very fast from the day it was, from the day I ordered it, which was the day it was released. And I was surprised I got it. So the last few couple weeks I've been shooting it. I felt like putting a review out. I had a couple people ask about some questions on it and whatnot. So I feel like this was an easier way. They can just go watch the video, get a little input. If you guys need anything or have any questions, I mean, you can feel free to message me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, you know, get you get to a dealer, try one, ask a buddy to try his when they come in, because you will not be disappointed. This this EM cam or the SE cam has has made huge strides for a target bow as far as PSC came in. You know, coming from Matthews going to this, it made a big difference in my game and my shooting, and I feel good about making this switch. Go ahead, get to your dealer, try one PSC Citation 40. EM cam. Have a good day, guys.